Hello and welcome to this unboxing video of my delivery from Model Bahn Schaplippe in Detmold, Germany. Um, this, uh, this order is a little different in that it doesn't contain any locomotives um, or passenger uh, or, or freight vehicles. It is strictly scenery material and I think there's some decoders in here. Um, the other thing that's amazing about this order is that it took only two days to reach me here in Las Vegas. Um, this order originated on Monday. They created the label at 10.54. Then at 3.13 in the afternoon, it was picked up on its way to Cologne, where it got on an airplane at 10 o'clock in the evening on Tuesday. It arrived in Kentucky at 11.45 the same day. And by 4.30 a.m., on Wednesday, it was in Las Vegas, and I had it at my door at 1.52 in the afternoon. So it was incredibly fast. So let's see. We have, uh, finally, I was able to order some function decoders, which I think I got the last bunch because they were out of stock, and now they're out of stock again. So we have the ESU function decoders. Then we have... A Mercedes delivery van and we also have a Czech Lada police car or actually rather Czechoslovakian Lada police car and let's see what else we have in here so next up we have grass material from Noch various colors and lengths And here's some some more summer summer colored grass and still some more we have a roller for the Noch um, um, road building system and more grass this one is glue for the, to attach the glass, the grass rather. Also from North. Then this is a road surface paint. This one is um, an asphalt colored one. And we have these are from uh, Martin Welberg. These are little bushes and wild stuff, wild uh, growth, as well as from Noch. Then we have more ballast. And still more ballast. This one is from Bush. Chain link fence. Two packages of that. This is a landscaping starting kit from Noch. It's got some cork material and some other shrubbery and grass stuff in it. This is a railing from Fallen. A small touristy uh, castle ruin with one tower. Then from Martin Welberg, we have some more shrubbery and growth and different stuff to put on the, on the countryside. The Noch Grassmaster 3. Profi. And then this is a starter kit for the Noch Street system. Comes with uh, additional roller and it comes with a different color uh, surface paint. It comes with a flexible ruler so you can put um, street markings on it. And it comes with templates for uh, 
lane markings and such. And then the last one in here is, I think this is some more grass material. some more grass material so in hindsight maybe a little too much grass uh, shaving material but uh, we'll find out how well it works so let's do some more unboxing and open up this Noch starter kit for perfect street as it's called so this one comes with a lighter, more, um, more, uh, I guess what you want to call it, a uh, concrete colored street surface or maybe a dirt road. So we put those two together and you see the difference. Comes with an additional roller. This is the flexible ruler and then you have the template for the street markings on the on the asphalt as well as the white pencil to make those with. These are laser cut and are supposed to be quite nice. Come in three scales, H O N and T T. Got the yield sign, dotted line. And it comes with a DVD. All right. Guess you can't find that video on uh, YouTube, I'm assuming. All right. Put that away. And next up, we have this uh, bush chain link fence. Let's take a look in there. Very fine mesh, must be aluminum. Similar to, a, I guess, buck screening for the window, but it's even finer than that. Not sure if this is made specifically for this or if it's uh, yeah, something similar out of a sieve or something like that. And then it comes with poles and the gate. Next up is the cedar material from Martin Welberg. That's a Dutch company. Um, it's similar to, um, well, I'm not sure if it's similar to, but uh, it kind of looks like the material made by Lars Oppethoff. And it has a very thin backing. That's pretty nice. Different colors, different scenes, different seasons. Um, couldn't possibly get them all, but I don't think I'll need them all. Plus the, the fall scenes were all just brown and stuff. I didn't really, really like those. Here you have two different colors, if you can tell. And then this one as well. And you can mix them and match them. Let's see what else. This is from Fowler. This is uh, just a railing that I'm going to put on the bridge. Plenty of that. Then we have the foliage from Noch. This 
seed and restarter kit from North comes with the cork, uh, rock side, and some dried moss, some gravel, some more grass, and some other stuff in there. Got a whole mountain full of different grass, different lengths, different colors, different seasons. Um, and I also got the the North Grassmaster Pro Profi. And I have not used this before, so a certain amount of that grass material is gonna go to use for me to practice with it before I actually make anything. Oh, this is much bigger than I thought it is. So you have a cover and then three different strainers or sieves, depending on what length of grass you're installing. And then the grass master itself, with, uh, which uses an electrostatic charge to make the the grass stand up as you're applying it and it sits into the specific glue. And then lastly I got this gravel here um, for, for the ballast on the track. So this is something I had a little bit of trouble with because namely this here is the Trix sea glyce. And this here is the Marklin sea glyce. And so I sent, a, I put out a question on the forum, as well as sending uh, emails to Merklin and Noch and uh, Bush. And um, I am surprised that they don't realize that these two are different colors. And so while both Noch and Bush sell um, cell ballast that is specifically labeled this fits the Marklin um, nobody bothers to make one and market it specifically to the Trix um, Glyce uh, I think this is too light I'm hoping to mix the two and make this a little darker and have it uh, be a better match for this but uh, even when I emailed Noch they told me that this works for both and for for, for them to be unaware that the, that the Trix uh, Glyce, even though it's coming from the same manufacturer, clearly it comes from the same uh, molds with the exception of the little center contact, it is the same. Uh, I'm a little surprised that they're not aware that this is a different, um, a different color. Uh, also, when you're, if you're modeling Merklin, um, you pretty much only have one choice. It's Merklin C track. Nobody else really makes track. If you're Marklin, if you're uh, modeling in in a, in the two rail system, you have tons of choices. You have Pico, you have Peku, you have um, uh, Fleischmann, which is now discontinued but very very popular. Um, Roco makes three different kind of tracks. I think they're down to two. Um, Peak. Uh, there's some other manufacturers as well. There's Atlas and Lifelike and a bunch of American ones. They all make track, but so you have a lot of choice if you do two rail. But if you have three rail, you only, if you have the three rail Mark Merklin system, you only have one choice. And you'd figure that people uh, in the business would know that these are different colors and they would market one just for this, but that's not the case. So I'm going to try and make this a little darker and. Uh, by mixing it and hopefully I can come up with something that will look like it's uh, like it's equal to or at least that it's coming out of the same pile of sand so okay so um, that's it for today thank you for watching and until next time have a good day thanks bye bye